Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check the private browsing history in Safari. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you are on Safari, let's open up Safari here, and you are in the private browsing mode, but you want to see past websites, maybe you closed out of them and you forgot what they were, let's tap on the two squares at the bottom, right? And then you can see next to start page is private. Let's tap on private to swipe over. Now, one and the easiest thing that you can check is if the tabs are not already closed, then you can just tap on the tab itself and you can always tap on another tab to see them if they are already open. However, let's tap on the squares at the bottom right and say we closed out of both of those and you don't see any tabs open. It says here, private browsing adds additional privacy. After you close the tabs, which we just did, Safari won't remember those pages you visited, your search history, or your autofill information. However, there is some options here. So let's open up the settings here on your phone and scroll down until we get to Safari and tap on that. Now, when we're in Safari, we can scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see advanced. Let's tap on that. And then at the very top, let's tap on website data. The cool thing is this will show all of the website data, basically cache or cookies or anything like that that has been downloaded onto your device. So it, keep in mind, this will not show specifically the ones that are in private browsing versus ones that are in normal browsing, but you can hit this show all sites and be able to see every single website that has some data downloaded and installed onto your phone. So you can just search through these websites, or of course you can just filter them down and see if you can find that specific site that you're looking for. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.